What is good guys, it is Reed and welcome back to another video. Today we got Give Me A Breakdown episode two, which is also part two of the I Guessed Her Phone pin code breakdown video. <laughs> Uh, that was a long sentence. So if you don't know, Give Me a Breakdown is my new series where I break down some of my street magic and close-up performances. So in this video, I will be breaking down the rest of the I Guessed Her Phone pin code video, one of my favorite street magic videos I've ever put out. So in this one, you're gonna see uh, some two-card Monty, which I think is great, because you guys can see how that looks in the real world and how you handle that in a real performance and get a lot of great tips for that effect that a lot of you guys love. If you wanna learn two-card Monty, you can go check it out there. And then you'll see an effect that I purchased from Illusionist called Face Off a fantastic effect, the only effect that I use a gimmick for that I regularly perform. So it's awesome. And yeah, you're gonna get a lot of great value from this and seeing real world performances, you're gonna get performance tips, you're gonna get uh, some background behind the scenes and info into when I messed up, how things went wrong and how I got out of those situations, how to deal with hecklers, all, all that kind of good stuff. So let's not waste any more time. You guys wanna check out the merch or some private lessons, go check out rfslights.com at the link below and let's get right into the video i hope you guys enjoy we're gonna play a little game you ever heard of the game three card monty they have like three cards perfect we get a little two card monty action you know one that a lot of people love to do and we can go over my handling of it. mix them up you're supposed to follow oh, the the yes. queen usually yes, or something, yes, all right yes. okay. we're gonna do a version of that so this version we're only gonna do two cards i'm gonna make it a little easier for you so this ace of spades easy so one to remember right can you hold your hand like this for me all right i'm gonna hold it like that now, no cheating, all right? But where's the ace of spades? Where is it? In my hand. You sure? Is this a trick question? I don't know. No, I'm just asking, what do you think? Where do you think it is? It should be in my hand. Okay, check to make sure. Okay. Still there, right? So this phase is extremely important to prevent people from prematurely flipping the card once you have switched it in with the king. You need to establish two things, that you're not allowed to cheat because this is a gambling game, and you need to give them that opportunity to make a mistake. So right there, when I, the ace is in their hand, I say, where's the ace of spades? Not only is it funny and great where you get to bounce off, like sometimes they say, is that a trick question? Like he did sometimes, there's no way you switched it already. Like whatever, you get to play with that. But also a lot of times people will say in my hand and they'll go like this. And right as they do that, you call them out and say, hey, I said no cheating, right? And now they understand, oh, that's cheating and they will never do it, they won't do it if you've called them out. This is your, your safety net. This sets up that they won't prematurely flip, okay? So it's extremely important this first phase to uh, instill those things in them and to make sure they follow the, the effect properly. But no cheating, no cheating, all right? So the next card will take Ace of Clubs. All right, what I can do is I can come and I can switch it and switch it back. I know you don't believe me, but look, I switched it once and switched it back, so you still have the Ace of Spades. See? Crazy, right? And right there, I do invite them to check a second time, but again, it's on my command. So now that I'm, I know they're following my instruction. So watch, this time I'm gonna do it really slow so you can follow it. Okay, so now where's the ace of spades? You sure? So if I put it Now let's rewind that, you can see the moment where I do the top change as I come away. So I say, now where's the ace of spades? And I do the top change as my body moves back to just stand up straight. Right, so this is, a, this is an important moment. So let's listen to what I say here again. I'm gonna do it really slow so you can follow it. Okay, so now where's the ace of spades? There. And the gesture, it's like I'm in, I'm leaned in, right? In this particular case, I'm leaned in. I do the switch with his card. I, as I'm standing up, I come and I top change and I say, where's the ace of spades? And I'm gesturing away with this hand. So I go, where's the ace of spades, right? And it's all from here and it's like a bigger action covers a smaller action, where's the ace of spades, right? And you get all the cover in the world by just letting the hands meet. And then I keep these as far away as possible so there's never any idea in their mind that the hands came together. On top or bottom in your hand? Would you bet $100 on that? And then my famous $100 gag that I love to do, get all kinds of funny answers with that. <laughs> you would though, you're that confident? Sure, yeah. All right, take a look, flip them both over. <laughs> it's none of them. That's why you should never, you know, play these games. Because you'll get hustled to okay. say stop. Stop. Right there. Yeah. All right. So we're going to take the two cards you stopped at. So, for you guys, that's the six of clubs and the queen of diamonds. Okay. So a little riffle force there. This is an effect I love called face off. It's available on Illusionist. 
Uh, people ask me about this one a lot and it is well worth it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, but it, you know, it's a great effect and I would highly recommend you purchase it because it always kills pretty much the only gimmicked card trick that I really do on a consistent basis, just because it's that good. Write anything you want, show your name here, I'll just hold it for you. Just So, the, just... so you see there, uh, she goes, she reaches for it, right? And for this effect, she actually can't take the card off the deck at this moment. So she reaches for it and I just say, no, 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 I'll just hold it for you. Why? Doesn't matter why, but I have control of this performance. So I'm telling her, no, no, it's fine. I'll just hold it for you. And if she still would try, I would say, no, 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 I don't want it to blow away or whatever the case may be. It's easier to write on the deck, whatever the case is, then I might give her a reason. But I just, you know, I'm confident when delivering my instruction and then she follows. All right, so we have the queen of diamonds now, right? <laughs> write something nice and big. There's a little bit of a sneaky move that just happened there. It's kind of a discrepant move, I guess you would say. And I just do it, I hand out the marker and I just do it right in front of everyone. But you can see no one's paying attention to that. That's not what matters. And then I don't draw any attention to it. I just come and I just do it myself, right? And you can see not a single person is barely even looking at me. And I'm sure there was, but they didn't say anything because it, you know, it doesn't mean anything. So we have the six of clubs and the queen of diamonds. Just trying to get my deck in my pocket here. There we go, all right. Always have a free pocket to put your deck away. I make that mistake sometimes and fiddle around and it's just not a great space to be in when you're trying to perform, right? Sometimes I'll just throw the deck on the ground, you know, if I have to. Get a good crease. You guys can see, I'm gonna tear it, right? Right down the middle. See that? Your eyes aren't playing a trick on you, right? They're ripped. They're ripped, you can see both halves, okay. In this moment, I'm really taking time to milk the ripping and everything like that so they really can see and focus on it and, and, and really, you know, just, just taking every moment I can because this I can be very clean, very open with this. So I'm taking as much as I can to emphasize this moment so that they remember later on this happening. I tell them they see this rip, all that sort of stuff. Each of you, hold out a hand for me. All right, put two pieces in there, close, flip. Now one thing you can see here that's very important, and this is um, key in a lot of effects. Anytime you're putting a card in someone's hand that maybe they can't look at because you've switched it or something like that, take their hand and put it on top and squeeze it shut or, or do those actions for them. Make sure it's done. You can see here, I put the card in their hand and I physically fold their hand closed and turn it. I do it all. They, I, I instruct them, but I also do it to make sure, because they, they can't open their hand yet. They can't look at really what I'm putting in their hand. So I need to, you know, control, have control over all those moments. So it's super important and you can see me, you know, grab their hand, close it, turn it, and make sure they're doing exactly what I want them to do. Right, I am taking control, again, to make sure there's no room for error. Now, I want you guys to focus. Apply a bit of pressure, but don't crush the cards. Just a little bit, all right? <laughs> When you feel ready, just a little fist bump, you know, connect the energy. Now we're just building the presentation up. Two, yeah, you too. <laughs> Did you feel anything? No. Turn your hands over. Slowly open. Open. Open, lift the, open the card. Oh you too, you too, you too. Oh, but they're, oh, they're together. Oh my God, oh my God. Look, no way. with the signature on them. Their signature is still on them, right? Here. Wait, what did you even write? Fromage? No. <laughs> <laughs> what's your name? Here, look. look. Fromage. Oh my god. How does it feel? Really? Like, like, like Scott's tape or something. No, it's not. Hey. It looks like it was... Rip. <laughs> no, they're actually back. You, yeah. I mean, you could rip it if you want, you'll no, see. It, looks like it, looks like one card. it is one card. It's fused now. Appreciate you. Study, I you. So this effect, you know, you can see it always gets great reactions and people don't know what to say. They say scotch tape glue, but the more they take the time to look at it, and I think it's important to hand that out and get it in as many people's hands because everyone, when it first happens, no one believes it until they have it up close. So I try to pass one around and, you know, there's two items that can be inspected, which is great. So more people can get their eyes on it. And then you really see when people start to, you know, their brain melts. And I think that's important. And you even saw a bit with the reveal there. They, they opened their hand and they didn't clue in exactly what to do right away. And I had to almost instruct them. Yeah, unfold the card, take a look, take a look. You know, that's another thing to keep in mind that that's important as well. Uh, if you know, if someone's not doing what you want, just kind of instruct them to. Now this group, one of my favorite groups I ever had, they were awesome. 
uh, totally into it and had some of my favorite reactions, including this one right here. Uh, off a simple transpo. Yeah, just simple transpo. Yeah. Can you pull one out for me? They're all different. Just grab one, anyone you want. Alright. Here's what I'm gonna do. It doesn't, it's not that kind of trick. It doesn't matter. It's not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. Because you're gonna sign it. Any, er, hold on, that's the wrong one. We can pick a different one if you want, but yeah. up to no, you. No, no, I said pick it if you want. Pick it if you want. So here, they picked the card. They thought I saw it even though I'm about to see it, so it really doesn't matter. And I tried to explain that, but they, they still wanted to pick another one. It doesn't matter to me, so it's totally fine. So I'm not gonna argue, you know, let them do it if it'll make them feel like it's more fair, even though I'm about to look at the card in a second. Just allow it to happen. It's not a big deal, no need to panic. All right, all right, all right. All right, let me see it. All right, watch. Here's what we'll do. So right there is top change number one. So the way that I do the transpo is I have them take their card, sign it, and then top change and switch it so I have the double loaded, right? So I do that, the second I get the card back, I do the top change again. You see, it's all, there's always that bigger motion. I'm leaned in and I come out, and then I have a, a sentence on top to cover that. So if we listen and watch, again. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right let me see it. All right, watch, here's what we'll do. It was simple as, here's what we'll do, but having something to say and not be silent while you do the move, it distracts the ears, the eyes come up to look at you, and, and you can see, they're all staring at my hands right now, because it's it's a hot moment, I won't lie, the second you take the card back, it's a hot moment, but if you if you do it just as you're, you're kind of standing up, boom, and, and there's a little turn to the side here, there's nothing to see, and then the, basically what happens in this is I place it right back on top, I already have a break, so now I just come straight into the double, and they see their card, again right away so there's there's so little suspicion in the way that i handle this her card was the queen yeah. of diamonds oh. hold, hold out your hand for me like that take hey. your other hand put it on top whoa, whoa, whoa. so you know that's an important thing to, to say I, I show the card flip it over and sometimes i'll catch it on the thumb like this so they can you know it feels like it's still away from the deck until the last moment when i push it off to do the switch but you see, the, the, the reason for me turning the card over on back on the deck is because then I gesture for them to hold out their hand like that, right? If I had the card like this, and I say, hold your hand out, and then I place it on top and then put it in their hand, it doesn't make as much sense. So I show them the card, I say, ace of spades, hold your hand out, and then place it on top. Uh, an even better option would be to just do the drop switch, and you say, you know, hold your hand out like this, and place the card directly in their hand without touching the deck and do the switch while well, doing the drop switch. But I didn't do that in this case. I did, I did the film. <laughs> All right, watch. Magica. I'm gonna take the next card, uh -huh. King of Diamonds, okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. Watch. Again, I think it's important. Isolate the deck, I get the deck out of play. Then something has to happen. There has to be something that makes it happen. Otherwise, it's a trick. And if we're trying to go for magic, I always do this little pulse thing. And the thing I love about that is I, I have this moment where I say, oh no, you're doing it wrong. A little bit lower, a little bit higher. And I'll even look at their card. It's already changed, but I'll just miss call. I'll be like, no, not yet, didn't work. And then I'll keep going like a little bit lower for me. Perfect, I think it worked. And then I'll flip it. I'm not sure if I did that here, but let's see. Can you just pulse your hand just up like this, just a little bit, just a little bit, yeah. yeah. Be gentle. Oh. Just hey. focus, focus on the beak. No, 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 do another one, another one. Yeah, we got, I don't we got one. Do it again. I don't want to do it again. Yeah, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Yeah, see, he doesn't even look at the card in his hand because it's just such a strong effect. He already knows what's happened. It's so direct, so clear that he's just doesn't even look. He just throws it on the ground and takes off, right? One of the other guys checks it out, but uh, that's the point here. If your effects are clear and direct, you know, and oftentimes I think that's the more impressive part that the card you just showed them appeared in their hand without you ever touching it, right? And then at the end here, you can see how they're very adamant. Another one, another one, another one, which is a point, and a point I'll end this video off on. It's important to be prepared. So if I'm approaching a group like this, I usually have about a three effect set that I'm ready to do bang, 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 um, that I've thought about a little bit beforehand so that I can roll into it. And if I'm ever not ready, well then I have my, my ones that I can fall back on. The triumph, the unshuffling the colors, 
you know, two card Monty, the ones that I always do my, my core material so that if I'm ever, someone says, show me something and I'm a little like, oh, I didn't plan this. I can just fall back on those. But I did have an idea of the three effects I was gonna do for this group. And then if they want more, then they'll understand if, you know, I need to take time to check on my notes to pick the next effect, or I need a second to think about it, or I wanna try some different stuff. But it's important to just be prepared, right? Especially if you're approaching a group like this. And, and anytime you're going to event, an event you think you might perform, it's better to be prepared. And then that way you, you don't have to stress about it, right? I knew exactly what was coming next. So that was Give Me a Breakdown episode two. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Another awesome breakdown, a lot of value in that video, and I hope you found some things helpful. If you like these type of videos, don't forget to drop a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you'd like, if there's anything else you'd like to see in these videos, and what video you'd like me to break down next. So guys, I wanna thank you for watching, welcome all the new subscribers, and with all that said, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.